Some young Disney stars went on to achieve great fame, but others took a different route in life. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Disney stars who disappeared once their shows ended. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at Disney actors whose place in the limelight was over almost as soon as their series was. But who knows? Maybe someday they'll find it again. All right, I'll start in your seventh grade. Then I'll begin my slow but steady rise to power. Number 10, Lilane, Lizzie McGuire. Do I look okay? Lizzie, I'm your guy best friend. You should really talk to Miranda about this stuff. But she's in Mexico City. Like many on this list, Lilane acted in a few roles before her big break with Disney. In this case, that was as the titular character's best friend on Lizzie McGuire. You know what, now that I think about it, that whole crush thing doesn't even work for me. I get all jittery and sweaty all the time. Who wants that? As Miranda, Lilane lit up every young girl's life with her awesome outfits and general hilarity. But in 2007, the young star was charged with possession of methamphetamines. From 2010 to 2011, she took a swing at playing bass for the band Vanity Theft, but the all-girl group never hit true fame. Telling me that I'm way too unlike you, but I like you. Since then, Lilane has had a few acting credits to her name, even one in Easy A, but sadly nothing as significant as her earlier roles. Yeah, totally. He left his parents a note that said, I'm gay, bitches, and then he skipped out with some big hulking black guy. Ah! Number 9. Doug Broshu, Sunny with a Chance. Because I have more of a chicken body, and you have more of an egg body. <laughs> well, it's not fair. On the short lived Sunny with a Chance, Granny Mitchell was a goofy side character and offered up the comic relief. Look at all that hair. You got hair? I got toasty almonds. And who played that lovable part so well? Why, none other than Doug Broshu. But if you don't recognize his name, you aren't alone. Put that on a coaster! Ooh, oh, my girdle is too tight! After Sunny with a Chance and its spin off show were both over, along with a few other Disney shows he appeared in, Broshu has only had one noteworthy acting credit to his name. The 2014 short Obituaries had him acting alongside James Franco and might have been a bump of fame. He had resolved to reconnect with his father. But Doug has reportedly decided to focus more on his health. And we understand, he looks great. Number 8. Mitchell Musso, Hannah Montana. This is gonna be cheesy. Back in the days when he played Oliver Oaken on Hannah Montana, Mitchell Musso seemed like he could have become a household name. Hey, what up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> He was in many Disney Channel films and had a voice that could rock a pop punk stage. And I'm gonna show you how. How to rock, how to dance, how to get down. Around the same time that his role on Hannah Montana was over, Disney offered him two other roles on Pair of Kings and Prank Stars. But after a DUI, his time on both was cut short. And sadly, with only one full length studio album to his name, his music career hasn't gone far either. Don't come around, you better off leaving town. He has since patched things up with Disney, though, having taken on the voice of Wally in Milo Murphy's Law. They are brothers. She was right. Newbie. Newbie. Number seven, Jennifer Stone, Wizards of Waverly Place. I could teach you, just like I taught you how to make a bird feeder out of pine cone peanut butter and raisins. Yeah, my dad ate that. Where would the world be without best friends to push us, laugh at us, and be a shoulder to cry on? Most of Disney Channel shows answer that with a resounding nowhere. And Wizards of Waverly Place is no different. The sweet but sly Harper was that best friend to Alex Russo, and Jennifer Stone played the role well. Who is your fashion forward friend? Almost immediately after the show was over, Nickelodeon scooped up the young star, wanting her to play the babysitter storyteller on Dead Time Stories. One's a Caton's grandfather and his brothers have been hiding for years. Are you guys ready to be scared? Mm-hmm. Okay. After that, she's had scattered acting gigs. She's done outreach for people living with diabetes after her own diagnosis. You go, girl. Number six, Tiffany Thornton, Sunny with a Chance. This is where I get my snacks. This is where I learn. Oh, and this is a camera, which loves me. 
Demi Lovato Sunny from Sunny with a Chance not only had great friends, she had a queen bee frenemy as well. Let's say a new bee arrived at the hive, and on her first day she buzzed in and she thought she knew everything, and she threw out one of her millions of ideas and she stung the queen bee right in the back! Tiffany Thornton played the character Tawny with an adorable and funny, albeit sometimes annoying, flair. For some reason, she prefers to live up there like a common bat rather than down here with me. And for a short while after both the show and its spinoff were over, she was a radio personality for KLAZ 105.9 in Arkansas. But that was the last the world saw of the young blonde star, at least on any world stage. Don't worry though, as evidenced by her Instagram, Tiffany prefers her quiet life, raising her children and working for Champion Christian College as a recruitment advisor. Number 5. Cara Delizia so weird. <laughs> Both Disney and Nickelodeon seem to have a knack for making kid-friendly versions of popular adult TV shows. Take for example So Weird, Disney's version of The X-Files. Like its adult sibling, the show centered around otherworldly things like aliens and ghosts. <laughs> and its main character was Fiona Phillips, or Fee for short, played by Cara Delizia. After season three, though, Delizia left the show and never quite made it into the spotlight again. Nothing other than being utterly bogus. What's your name? Winifred Hooper. She's had a few guest spots like on The West Wing, and she voiced a character on Nickelodeon's All Grown Up, but nothing quite so big as playing Fee. Don't know why, you're totally smart. We like to think she's happily retired from the acting life. Cool. <laughs> it could be a little straighter. Get out of it. <laughs> Number four, Orlando Brown. That's so Raven. So to my feet, but this homeboy's got you beat. <laughs> now you can call me names, make funny faces, body dozens, cause you're nothing but a bunch of sad rapping cuz. Oh, Orlando. With his ability to spit an awesome freestyle, but still play up the goofy scenes as Eddie on That's So Raven, he could have gone far in Hollywood. <laughs> Even as his popular Disney show was ending, Brown seemed to have a music career that was picking up. All my dreams, saw your face. So perhaps he could have gone on to do wonderful things. In 2015, he even attempted a small comeback with a role in Straight Outta Compton. Unfortunately though, fame took a bad turn for Orlando. In 2018, he was arrested for drug possession and domestic abuse. We can say this star's time with Disney has definitely come to an end. Can I put on my drill set? I don't, what, what is this? Number three, Adam Lamberg, Lizzie McGuire. Dear Lizzie, I think I may like my best friend as more than a friend. Well, we mentioned Miranda, so of course Gordo has to be on the list too. And the lovable young Adam Lamberg played the guy in the best friend trio with ease and laughter. Upsettingly though, at least for the public. Shortly after Lizzie McGuire and its accompanying movie were over, Lamberg said goodbye to Hollywood. Gordo? What? And almost as easily as he slid into the role of Gordo, he slid into anonymity as well. According to LinkedIn, he now has his bachelor's degree in geography and his master's in public communication. He's also worked his way up to be the development officer at the Irish Arts Center in New York City. Bravo, Gordo. Bravo. Number two, Ricky Ullman, Phil of the Future. I might say my old school was way different. Okay. Phil of the Future was another Disney Channel show filled with fun, hilarity, and most of all, an off-the-wall concept. Ricky Ullman played the titular Phil with a carefree attitude, but also a certain sincerity. Since being on the show, though, he's gone back to his given name, Revive, and has done a few guest spots on TV shows like Broad City. Who would leave weed in a wall anyway? But most importantly, he's the drummer in a band called Reputant. And though they only have one album out so far, Michelle Williams did star in one of their music videos. Just give them a listen. They have a pretty cool sound. Before we locate our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Bounty full. A lot, huh? Oh. Well, as a matter of fact, I put a cornucopia of gas in the car. Hola, amigos. Get ready for a fiesta in your mouth. 
Y'all should play my mix. Give me the beat. I chew it like bubble. Pit blow and I'm back with another one. Bend down. I mean, what? You and your clever questioning. You've tricked me. Number one, Christy Carlson Romano, Even Stevens, and Kim Possible. You'll love our toast the most. What can we toast for you today, sir? Christy Carlson Romano was a Disney darling from the moment she broke out as the older sister Ren Stevens on Even Stevens. I'm sorry, but I object to being asked to squeal on my friend. For several years, she played the character effortlessly and with a sense of relatability before giving voice to yet another Disney Channel great. That's right, Kim Possible. Ron, we do not need a theme song. Since both shows have ended, Romano has played Belle in the Broadway version of Beauty and the Beast. As a film study student, she studied at Barnard College. Her latest venture is a YouTube vlog about her life as a mom. And yes, she is still as beautiful and relatable as ever. It must be brutal being you. Well, try the demands of raising Rufus as a single parent! Wow. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.